let's start. Today we will see how to plot a multi time frame Bollinger band in the TradingView Pine script. This is the indicator function with the name multi time frame Bollinger band. Here we are taking the user inputs for the length and the multiplier of the Bollinger band. Here we have used the time frame function to take user input for the higher time frame. The default value is the daily time frame. Here we have called the BB function, which is the Bollinger band function. The first argument is the source, we have used the close value. The second argument is the length of the Bollinger band. And the third argument is the multiplier. This function returns three values, one is the middle band, one is the upper band, and one is a lower band. Next, we call the security function to fetch the higher time frame data. The first argument is the ticker ID, which means the current stock name. The second argument is the higher time frame. The third argument is the upper, middle, and lower bands. We have written bracket 1 in front of the upper, middle, and lower bands. This prevents the indicator repainting issue when we fetch the higher time frame data. In the fourth argument, we handle the gaps. The fifth argument fetches the higher time frame data and merges it into the current bars. And finally, we plot the three bands to create a higher time frame Bollinger band. Let's add this indicator to the chart. As you can see, we have plotted a daily time frame Bollinger band on the 30 minute time frame. This is the input window of the indicator. I will change the higher time frame to one hour. Now we have plotted a one hour time frame Bollinger band on the 30 minute time frame. So that's it. That's how you can plot the multi time frame Bollinger band in the TradingView Pine script. Thank you.